Hey guys, today we're working on, you guessed it, a 5.0 Mustang. How about that? And we have a throttle position sensor problem. You give this car a small amount of throttle and it falls flat on its face. So what happens is the TPS sensors wear out, particularly in the lower voltage region, regions where you are all the time. So I thought I would show you guys what a TPS dropout or, or a worn TPS looks like, but in digital graph form. So we have the, uh, the Pico 4423 hooked up to my laptop over here. And I have clamped both the new Ford TPS sensor, that's this guy on the left that's blue on the inside, and the original, uh, probably aftermarket, I'm almost sure it's an aftermarket TPS sensor on this car. That's the one that's junk. He is, uh, he is plugged in first. I'm going to test him, show you what he looks like on the screen, and then I'm going to flip over and test the good one and show you what he looks like so you can have an idea in your head about what's going on with TPS voltage in a bad TPS. Uh, but first, let me explain real quick. The TPS sensor essentially has three modes that it's in. Idle, which means you're not touching the throttle at all. Part throttle, which is touching the throttle just about 0 .04 volts over idle. And that carries all the way up to uh, the wide open throttle region, which happens somewhere around, uh, I think, about 3.7 volts. So the wide open throttle region and the idle region are on the two extreme ends of the scale, and everything in between is part throttle. The other thing you have to know about a TPS sensor is as you move it, when you push down on the throttle, it's kind of adding accelerator pump logic. So it's spitting fuel into the motor, extra fuel, uh, just like an accelerator pump on a carburetor. The opposite happens when you let off of the throttle. So when you decelerate or TPS voltage goes down, you have the opposite happen and the computer cuts the fueling. This is to compensate for tau wall film in the intake manifold, uh, which is fuel that collects on the manifold walls. And as you accelerate, that fuel kind of runs dry and as you decelerate, it kind of stacks up in the manifold. So they compensate with this uh, on acceleration with acceleration enrichment or uh, an accelerator pump and a carburetor. And then in a uh, EFI system, they have acceleration and enrichment and logic. Uh, logic, which is just um, if the TPS voltage goes up, she starts adding fuel. So without further ado, let me show you. I'm gonna just uh, turn the throttle position sensor by hand with this screwdriver. And you guys can check it out on the screen and see what that actually looks like. So I'm rotating it up. Oh. And it should be a smooth, you know, ramp. So let me try that again. I'm starting. Now I'm turning, 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 turning. Boom. All of a sudden it goes way up. I'm still turning. Now it topped out. I'm holding it at wide open throttle, and that part's okay. Now I'm turning it back downhill. Turning, 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 turning. Whoa, something happened there. So turning and then idle. So let me do that a little bit quicker. Accelerate decelerate. See how it kind of goes from nothing to everything? That's not on purpose. That should be a, a gradual ramp. And it's not. It suddenly jumps up right there and suddenly drops down right there. And that's with very little movement. All right, now let me uh, set you down for just a second and I'll switch out this uh, sensor and we'll try the other one. Sorry about the black screen, guys. One-handed here. Poor video quality, good video content. How about that? Okay. So now I have the, uh, the new Ford sensor plugged in. And I'm taking a large flathead screwdriver. And I'm just gently rotating the arm, which is normally rotated by this guy which moves with throttle position, okay? So I'm hooked into the forward sensor, come over here, and now we'll sweep it, and she climbs, and she falls at a consistent rate. Turning it up, holding it open. Oops, the laptop did that, that's not, the con that's not me, this laptop sometimes is slow. Slowly shutting it, slowly opening it, slowly shutting it and that's how that's supposed to work 